Welcome. My name is Shannon Friedman and I'm going to uh, just walk you through a brief intro tutorial into how to use PowerPoint. So as you can see from the screen in front of you, that when you open up PowerPoint, when you click on that icon, it will open up into this format. So you have a choice to choose some templates, but most of the time I choose blank presentation. So you would click on blank presentation now. So at this point, what you see in front of you is the first slide that the PowerPoint uh, template or layouts choose is this first one. And this first one is um, a title slide. So typically, you would make it the title of your presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the name of what my presentation is going to be about, which is going to be about California. And then typically whoever is going to be giving the presentation, um, in some cases you may say who's created it, you would go ahead and click here. So in my case, I'm going to put my name. Now you'll notice this dotted box going around by Shannon Friedman. We're actually going to go into quite detail about what that box is and all the different things we can do with it uh, in a future presentation or a future tutorial. So next we want to take a look at our slide. Right now this looks really blank and boring and most of us when we've seen a PowerPoint this is not what we see. So how do we get some design elements on ours? So we're going to go up here. You'll see the menu bar across the top of your screen. Uh, this is a proper terminology for it, the menu bar. And then you have different menus coming off of it. So we have a home menu, insert menu, design menu. So we're going to click on the design menu. Now here you will see a variety of templates. Now in some situations, and I could talk a lot more about this, um, in some situations I don't really like templates. But with PowerPoint they can be a really great starting point. Um, particularly because there is still such flexibility within the template. Whereas when I'm using a Word document template, I really don't like those. This is not so bad. So you'll see some options. Now, you notice these little arrows going up, down, and then the extra one that has uh, a line above it. You'll see that I'm hovering there. And when I hover, um, a pop-up dialog box shows up. And in this case, it's telling us what it is and what the options are. So in this case, it's more. And I mentioned that pop-up and that you can hover over things because I want you to know um, I want you to know that feature because that is one really big tool that you can use when you're working with all of the Microsoft Office suite programs um, when you're learning them and you want to know what the different features will do. Uh, so you'll see there's a variety of templates here. The other beauty is that as you hover, I don't have to actually click on them, but if I just hover over the templates and scroll, they will change. So I will have a great visual of what they are. So uh, you have different styles for different situations, and you really do want to gauge your style of presentation based upon the audience at the time that you are doing it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. This is a little different, not something I always choose, but I think it will work for this type of presentation. So you can see now that um, the design template uh, has been applied to my presentation. And I'm going to go ahead and stop there and take a moment to show you how to save. But before I do that, I will tell you that PowerPoint is an amazing tool and there is a lot that we can do with it and I will have some future tutorials to teach you um, so you will learn how to use them. So in order to save this we would go to file. So we go up here to the file menu and uh, I always always highly encourage everyone to do save as. That way you can really keep track of where your file is going. So in this case um, most of us are going to choose computer unless you are using a cloud um, a cloud saving option and in my case I'm going to put it in my virtual vacation folder it really depends upon where you want it to go uh, for teaching purposes I'm going to show you how you would browse so you, if you don't see where you want it saved right there you click browse and then over here on my left hand side 
I'm going to locate the uh, folder that I want it to go in. So in my case, sometimes you have to dig a little bit to get to the actual folder you want. So um, I have a Shannon folder, but within my Shannon folder, I have all of these others. And I want this video to go on my Funcation folder, and it's under my Virtual Vacation category. So now you'll see it here, and I'm going to call it California. That's fine. So mine is being saved there. All right, so I'm all saved, and we are finished. Please uh, feel free to check back for more videos. Have a great day, everyone.